Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amash Ngoba if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. Today is a story time. I haven't done this in a while and I'm very much excited. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, once again, I'm not sure what I'm naming this, but, but, uh, I think it's gonna go somewhere along the lines of the guy who wouldn't leave me alone at rest because that's just basically it. But before I start, please go ahead and follow my Instagram pages at Amahlenovo. I'm saying pages. Oh yes, pages. Because I also would like you to follow my business page. Which is Coffee and Waffles Candles. And yeah, that's about it. My TikTok page is Amahlenovo. All my socials are Amahlenovo. Anyways, um, so this is about it. It is, um, okay, let me just remember. I'm just trying to start from the beginning beginning so it was first year in 2021 which is like two years ago i had just moved into a new risk accommodation where it's like a student house so after a few days of me being there um it was time for me to just not just let loose but i was trying to get to know people a friend of mine and i decided to go have coffee in the kitchen not necessarily to get to know people but we were just like you know what we need to get out of our rooms and that's just the somewhat perfect place because the kitchen was a place where you could have coffee and you'd relax because it was a house anyways um so we go to the kitchen and start making coffee then after conversation now we're done having coffee then people start coming in one by one now obviously because we all knew we want to get to know each other who's who in the zoo and to be introducing each other hi this is so and so this is so and so and um if you know the place uh swans accommodation this is where it, it happened so uh, i meet this girl there and we start talking for the longest of times one she's drunk two uh, i think there was a house party that day if it was or people just decided to um, our housemates decided to buy alcohol and chill in the room because we didn't know much about everyone not that we told a lot with them but we didn't know about that particular day's outing not outing but house party anyway so they come in one by one everyone's just drunk and we just with our coffee and then uh the guys Oh, and then I, I talk with this girl and she's telling me how much she loves poetry and we're just chilling. Then this guy comes in. Okay, two guys come in and then they chill. So now, you know, if it's a group setting, we're all going to have one conversation. So this stalker comes in. And then at that time, it's just a random housemate. So I'm trying to be cool with everyone. I'm not trying to have beef with anyone. So um, he greets me and then we start having conversation one after the other. And then I noticed with Abel, why am I only talking to you now? And I don't like that if we're in a group setting, suddenly we just isolate ourselves and talk alone. So I want to be part of the group conversation. So anyways, um, we had that conversation and uh, I'm like, you know what? Let me just talk to my friend that I came with um, rather than the strange people, especially guys, you know? So we carry on talking, but this guy keeps on directly directing conversations to me and asking questions and i'm like okay all right i'm gonna answer the questions and then after some time um my friend and i decide you know what let's go back to our room okay we didn't live in uh same the same rooms but it was, it was like opposite rooms and i asked her was it was me am i the trauma <laughs> or did you see what happened and she's like no i saw it then we laugh about it because it's like guys being weird it's just a like normal guy behavior okay so a week later there's a house party like not a house yes there was a house party it was this time it was a serious full on house party just welcoming each other so um we decide okay let's just get wine and uh yeah yes my friends and i decide let's just get wine my friends and i being me and three other friends and it, actually on that day uh, my friends and i decided you know what we're not going to contribute to the actual house party but we're going to buy our own things so we just bought wine because it's literally the only thing we drank uh, at that time and then um yeah we all, the only thing we drank at that time so we started drinking our wine slowly and then everyone just came down there was like a downstairs and an upstairs and then everyone just came to like the what's it there was like a chill area 
I don't know how to describe it, but outside. And then we all sat there, you know, having conversation one after the other. Then I see this guy again. Loki is try is kind of creeping me out, but at the same time, because during the whole week he was just staring at me like this. And it like it's not a you know when I look at you and you're staring at me, you're gonna feel like some sort of um you're gonna feel uncomfortable and quickly look away that wasn't his reaction he was staring at me like in a i'm looking at you uh kind of thing and at that time um now he's kind of creeping me out but at the same time i'm like calm down i'm not here no one's out to get you it's not that deep i okay fine um some time passes by and then back to the house party um so he's there i i try to avoid him by all um like i don't mind being friends with guys but if you are creepy that's when i run and then so he was giving me creepy vibes so that day i don't know what happened to our alcohol like there was a not a disagreement some of our alcohol disappeared that day and i'm thankful that that alcohol did disappear because it actually killed my mood and it was like you know what let me just go sleep and my friend also went to go uh, went to her room at that time we weren't too close so it was like yeah we just like we're not too familiar with each other but we are friends and then um so she goes to her room my roommate comes oh my roommate goes ahead and joins the party she goes to drink with um like her other the other like the other households my roommate can be very uh social whereas i was more introverted than her anyways so in the midst of that i'm like you know what let me just go to my room as I'm getting ready for bed, now as I'm wearing pajamas, I decide to call my then boyfriend. I'm calling him and I hear a knock on my door. Okay, who's that? I'm like, who is it? Luckily, the door is locked. I don't know. No one answers. I'm like, oh, probably it was not my door. Go, 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 go. Again. Who is it? Still no answer. Okay, cool. So I'm like, I go, who is it? I'm not going to open the door. And, it's his, and then the person's like, so and so i'm like what are you okay what are you what do you want because we're like what do you want she's like no bro i just want to chill i'm like no no thank you mind you the music is so loud that if something had to happen to me that day literally no one would have would have heard me it was bad and then um i'm like no i'm about to sleep sorry about that we can chill tomorrow like if we are gonna chill we're gonna chill in the kitchen and and I think, uh, not even I think, I know I was lying at that point. I just wanted him to go away. And uh, some time passes, he goes, and then my roommate comes, and he op she opens the door. That's how I knew he wasn't my roommate, because my roommate just opened, at that time, my roommate just opens the door when, um, opened the door when she came in. Even if I locked, she'd be like, it's me, open the door after she opened. And my other friend would say, I'm actually then open the door. So I knew who... Uh, comes into my room Th those are the only people that were actually allowed to come in my room anyways now um some time passes my roommate comes and i tell her what happened mind you i'm still on the call i'm like this and this happened i was sh so shocked and at the same time i'm saying this so my boy my then boyfriend can also hear that no i genuinely don't want to hang out with that guy and i'm not trying to be snacks or whatever then then my roommate's like, uh, you know what, let me just take the key. And she puts it around her neck. She says, when I come in, I'll open the door. But so, you, so that she can feel it. I'm like, make sure you lock the door. Then the guy comes in again. Mind you, I'm still changing. The guy comes in again. And then she's, he's like, he didn't, he didn't come in, he knocks again. He's like, uh, guys, I know, um, I'm sorry to bother you, but it's a bit noisy. And I just really wanted to study. Can I study here in your room? make it make sense why you want to study in, why are you trying to study during a house party number one because you could hear the noise everywhere unless you put on like no noise cancellation earphones that that's how you could have studied and there was a like a warning a week before that guys you're gonna have a party on this day so if you're trying to study please study before that day you know just warnings then um we like no there's a room down the hall just go to that room and study there he goes he comes back i can't find a chair while he's saying he cannot find a chair does he not forcefully open the door i don't know how it happened but my roommate quickly stops the door and she's like i bought i didn't say come in i'm gonna give you the chair she slips it out and says i'm at least getting dressed so you can't come in 
And then he's like, no, I want to see. Excuse me, see what? Yo, was I not irritated? And I was starting to get irritated. My boyfriend on the call is getting irritated too because who is this guy that keeps on coming? Okay, fine. And then my roommate gives him the chair and he leaves. So I switch off the lights. Mind you, there's so much noise. If something had to happen, no one would hear me. So that's what's playing on my mind. But because I'm a bit tipsy and it's a relaxed vibes, I'm really not thinking about And I'm on a call. I've been on a call this entire time. But I'm really not trying to think about the fact that, hey, like what is this guy trying to do? I think five minutes later, someone opens the door. And then now it's forcefully and it keeps on going. I'm like, hi boy, what are you doing? And he's like, I just want to chill, brah. Like, I'm feeling bored. Can you please keep me company? I'm like, can't you say you want to study? He's like, I know I said that, but I'm like, brah, please go away. You're making me feel uncomfortable right now. He proceeds to open the door. I said, stop opening the door. The door is locked. And then he goes away. That's how, that's how that light ended. And now I'm kind of freaking out thinking, what just happened? I okay fine some time passes by and he still keep not some time um, the next few days he does this thing of staring at me again so now I genuinely feel uncomfortable in this house and there's nothing I can do about it because what did he do like I can explain that he tried to come in then what like it's not enough what's gonna happen you know and then uh, as much as that's something serious but I just didn't think I should voice it out because I don't think anyone would listen then uh anyways some time passes on then my roommate while she's chilling in another one of her friend's room my roommate as i said she was very social i go to a friend's room and then i hear oh and then the guy comes in yes so i'm saying it then and then and then a lot of the time sorry about that but the guy comes in as the guy is coming in um he doesn't say much and then he walks out so we all left confused there was like four of us in the room four girls so we like what just happened and then we laugh about it and then i'm like hey guys you know what this guy is very weird he done so 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 so, so i'm telling them about so i'm telling them about like what happened and then they like ah boy they look at each other they laugh you know but the laugh is like we're laughing but it's not supposed to be we're not supposed to be laughing this is serious so I'm like, okay, my roommate and I look at each other like, what are you hiding? What don't you know? They're like, brah, we've been saying this thing, how weird this guy coming, how weird this guy is. Apparently the other day he came in while it was dark and then he just stood by the door um, next to the window. Like the door, he opened the door but didn't come in and he just stood and watched them as they sleep there. And so one of them looked up and said, I go, oh, do you want something? And he said, no. And then he walked out like he closed the door and went can you imagine like not all of us locked doors because again it's a house we've got security it wasn't that tight chain but not everyone locked their houses as they should so we're like hi boy this is a serious matter and then we start talking to other girls in the building a lot of girls were experiencing the same thing and they were like no this guy is weird he scares us and this and this and this and that and we realized that no, this is a problem. Our safety is not guaranteed with this guy here in this building. So we have a conversation while he's at school. We have like a house meeting. We're like expressing because no, this is happening. We didn't have a conversation that, okay, this is what's gonna happen. This is the meeting. It just happened that we were, most of us are in the kitchen and then one called the other, one called the other, but he was at school. So we're like, no guys, we need an intervention. The guy, an intervention. The guy didn't actually, um, the guys in the building first to, first thought of it as a joke and we're like no guys this is our safety once something happens it's a shame that you're laughing right now and if something had to happen it's going to be a case where we should have done something earlier and then they started to, to take us seriously then so the guys had a meeting with him and said no bro you're making the girls feel uncomfortable we don't know what your intentions are but can they just can you just um can you just act right basically and act decently um he apologized he didn't apologize to us i don't remember receiving an apology from him but he said that no maybe we didn't um we didn't interpret it the way that he wanted i don't know how we're supposed to interpret someone trying to forcefully get in to your room but that was the issue i think a week later he left the building yeah, he left the building, he left J and he went with our um, the actual risk of school accommodation and his reason apparently was that his roommate was um like yes his roommate was oh, 
he was when you say someone is yo i've never met such an untidy human being like from everything he does he just doesn't have any sense of hygiene in him well that was his his roommate and we all saw that so he said that was his reason for leaving but i think we just added on to his reason he just felt uncomfortable after every girl was complaining that hey you making us feel uncomfortable so how are you actually going to be comfortable in a space that no one is comfortable with having me there so yeah that was the um, it wasn't the last time i saw him because i still saw him um like when we had house parties he did come but it was the end of him harassing is it harassing yes it is harassing me